As you might know, on this channel, we love reactive dog training because it's so much more common than a lot of people think, and it's a really difficult journey for a lot of us dog owners. From experience owning a severely reactive dog, I've luckily come to find a few products that have made our lives easier and have made our trainings progress a bit more. So let's get right into six things that you need as a reactive dog owner. The first thing that really helped um, and improved my life as a reactive dog owner is a long leash, and it also improved my reactive dog's life by tenfold. With a reactive dog, letting your dog off leash can not only be a little bit scary for us, but it can also be a liability in some cases that your dog is also aggressive. So by getting a long leash, you can let your reactive dog enjoy all the freedoms of being off leash while still having a little bit of insurance and eliminating the risk. And also, you can also follow the leash laws that exist. Of course, reactive and aggressive are not synonyms. So your dog might be amazing off leash and not reactive at all when they're not on a leash because leash reactivity is also a big problem. But in most cases, a lot of reactive dogs also chase things and bark. So long leashes can often be a must unless you're in the middle of nowhere. So a long leash is one of my favorites. The second thing I think all reactive dog owners need is a sturdy harness and a leash. As returning viewers probably know, I'm a big fan of harnesses for all dogs, but especially reactive dogs. When a dog, you know, has a lot of reactive emotions and lunges really hard, a collar it can cause a lot more damage than a harness can. So a sturdy harness is a must for me. And going off that, a leash as equally sturdy is just as important. And I found that leashes with a little bit more, you know, flexibility and a little bit of a bounce are the best because when they're too rigid with no flexibility, it can be a lot harder to hold your dog back when they do lunge. The third thing that actually helps a lot with my anxiety of having a reactive dog is pepper spray or bear spray or any kind of animal deterrent. With a reactive dog or honestly any dog, on a leash, it can be hard to judge how your dog will react when an off-leash dog runs up to yours or even how to judge how that dog will react when it's charging up to yours. So we never want to have to use this pepper spray or whatever and thankfully I've never had to personally, but it's a good item to have that just fits in your pocket anyway when you go on a walk. Another item I love as a reactive dog owner is my fanny pack. You can get dog specific ones that have like treat compartments and all these fancy dog specific things, but any type of, you know, waste bag work. Mine here is from Gymshark and it's amazing because it literally fits everything I need. For reactive dogs, it's important to have high value rewards always, whether that be treats or toys, as well as, you know, the pepper spray I just said, your phone, even a muzzle if you choose, whatever. So having a bag that can carry all that goes a long way. Fifthly, I love a squeeze tube. Things like peanut butter or liver paste are often a dog's ultimate high value reward, which we all know as reactive dog owners is probably one of the most important things to always have on you, especially when you're training. So having squeeze tubes at home lets you pack your own liquid rewards. When Mochi and I do our counter conditioning training, I like to switch up the rewards to keep it fun between like meat, cheese, peanut butter. So I love putting Mochi's favorite peanut butter in a squeeze tube and carrying it on a training and walks. Six, a muzzle is an important item for many reactive dogs. Again, we all know that reactive dogs are not all aggressive, but a lot of them are reactive and aggressive and a lot of them are also defensive. So if they feel in a fight or flight situation, a lot of reactive dogs choose fight even though they wouldn't you know, necessarily be conditioned as aggressive. So having a muzzle is really helpful because just in case your dog does get a bit aggressive or a bit defensive, no one gets bit or hurt badly. I've noticed it's a weird misconception out there and stigma around muzzles as if dogs that wear muzzles are all like super bad dogs, but that's totally not true. A lot of dogs these days even wear muzzles to prevent them from eating stuff off the ground. So don't be afraid to muzzle train your reactive dog and invest in a good muzzle. Reactive dog owners, comment below what items have helped you and your dog and check out the video links here on the screen on how to get started training your reactive dog. Hey.